the student Shimoto made a brief reference to her childhood uh, experience in schools. Um, if all of you could comment briefly on your best and worst experience as a K-12 student yourself, you only had one once, and how does that flavor your approach to education policy today? Hmm. Maybe it's more than 30 seconds. <laughs> so yeah, that here. wasn't on my 30-second page, but that's all right. We, you want to give it a minute? One minute. Um, one minute, okay. Um, well, best, I think I, I, I mentioned, you know, it's really my, um, my experience really walking into a classroom, not knowing a word of English. And, and, and as an immigrant, you know, kind of really, I actually went to public schools in Illinois, Michigan, Massachusetts, a number of public schools all over the U.S. I can, I'm the expert on education all over the United States. Um, and really, they were all excellent schools. Um, I, um, and so it, it um, and of course, coming from um, Japan originally as well, it's a, uh, so, um, you know, education just becomes, um, you know, as you know, I'm an Asian parent, and education is really just core, core to um, all our children's future. I mean, it's just that. Um, I don't know if I can talk about a worst experience. Um, I don't know if I can really think of, think of one, so maybe, maybe I'll pass on that then. Okay, very good. Mr. Becker. Well, I think about my best experience. It all goes back to specific teachers. Mm -hmm. right? it's, it's professor Latham, my history professor, that encouraged me to go become a history major in college, and my Spanish teacher that got me interested in in Spanish culture encouraged me to ultimately go spend seven months as a volunteer in Guatemala and El Salvador. And uh, a math teacher, that was, he was just you know, phenomenal. You, know, kind of got, you, know, you just remember your whole life. And I think that influences my decision making. We have to value teachers. And, um, uh, and um, I think that's one thing that, and it's gonna influence my, my decision making. Talk about how, what can we do to empower teachers, make them feel supported, have enough funding for teachers, um, and um, and uh, um, yeah. In terms of worst experience, um, I don't know. I have to think about that one. But I will say, on the East Coast, the thing I remember about school is we had school buses and school lunches and other things. I think we like the things that we've forgotten about here in California. We've gotten so far back, like we, you know, we can't even think about getting back to some of these de things. So because uh, our funding's been cut so much, and that reminds me of that. Thank you, Mr. Gordon. So fourth grade, here in California, we uh, study California history. My worst experience was when my model of Mission San Juan Batista fell apart. <laughs> I can only blame it on bad glue. <laughs> my best experiences all relate to quality teachers. And the one that immediately came to mind uh, was a, an eighth grade science teacher at uh, Crocker Middle School in Hillsboro, uh, Mr. Perks. And uh, we actually had a science lab in those days, in eighth grade, uh, fully funded uh, with uh, the state of the art equipment. But he was also an incredible teacher, highly motivated, uh, inspirational, uh, encouraging of his students. Um, the best experiences are always with the best teachers. Thank you. I think the teachers in the audience would appreciate all your answers. Mm -hmm. 